In the beginning of the story, a city known as Chester's Mill seems like any other town. However, a series of terrifying incidents transform this city into something akin to hell. You may be wondering what horrific event transpired there. Let's delve in. Our story starts with a boy named Barbie, found burying a dead body in the jungle. Barbie isn't a local. Judging by the wound on Barbie's forehead, one could infer that he had a violent encounter with the deceased. After burying the body, Barbie starts to leave the city in his car, only to encounter a police officer named Sheriff. The sight of the officer unnerves Barbie, leading to a lapse in his focus on driving. Nevertheless, he manages to evade the officer. Suddenly, he encounters cows blocking the road, forcing him to swerve into a field, injuring himself slightly. Shortly after, an earthquake violently shakes the area. Unexpectedly, an object plummets from the sky, halting right in front of Barbie and slicing a cow cleanly in two. This object turns out to be an invisible wall, so sharp it bisects houses. A boy named Joe approaches Barbie and is just as shocked by the sight of the invisible wall. Meanwhile, Sheriff and Linda learn that the city's power supply, phone lines, and internet have been disconnected. Even satellite connections are down. Panic escalates when an airplane crashes into the invisible barrier, confirming that it's not just a wall but a dome encapsulating the city. Elsewhere, Phil and his assistant Dodie, working at a radio station, struggle to understand why their signal disappeared. Phil sees a chance to boost their ratings, so they start troubleshooting. A fire truck approaches from the opposite side of the dome. Barbie manages to stop the driver just in time to prevent another collision. Soon, police officers arrive to investigate, but are puzzled by the dome. City Councilman Big Jim joins the scene, but is equally perplexed. Word comes in that all city exits are now inaccessible due to numerous accidents caused by the dome. On a more personal note, Junior is involved with a girl named Angie, who is also a nurse and Joe's older sister. Despite professing his love for her, Angie admits she doesn't reciprocate his feelings, sparking a heated argument that results in Angie slapping Junior and leaving. At the same time, a family of three, Caroline, Alice, and their daughter Nori, are heading toward the town, unaware of the dome. In Chester's Mill, a well-known investigative reporter named Julia receives a call from a woman claiming to have seen six trucks filled with propane entering the city. According to the caller, such a large quantity of fuel could indicate a dangerous plan. Julia promises to look into the matter, despite her busy schedule. Amidst the chaos, Big Jim heads to the radio station and declares a state of emergency. Caroline, who was coming to the city with Alice and Nori, hears this announcement. However, she thinks that it's just some kind of advertisement, so she doesn't pay much attention to it. Consequently, her car crashes into the dome, miraculously saving her life. Just moments before, a truck coming from the other side had crashed into the dome, causing the accident. Witnessing this, Caroline immediately slams on the brakes. The impact of the incident causes Nori to have seizures, leading her to lose consciousness. Before feigning, she manages to mention something about a pink star. Nori is swiftly taken to a hospital filled with people injured by the strange events happening in the town. Meanwhile, Julia and Barbie are busy bringing injured people to the hospital. In that hospital, Julia's husband is a doctor. She goes to meet him, but discovers that he's not there. He had been lying to her all along, claiming to work on Sundays. Outside the hospital, Barbie and Angie are seen together, which sparks jealousy in Junior. Meanwhile, the town's borders are sealed by soldiers. Many scientists and experts are unable to figure out the real reason behind this strange and dire situation. After a few hours, they meet with the sheriff to discuss something related to Big Jim Propane. During their conversation, it becomes evident that they already knew something about the dome, but they were keeping it concealed. Barbie has to stay in the town for a day, but he has no place to stay, so he decides to spend the night in his car. Then Junior confronts him, warning him to stay away from Angie. The situation gradually escalates with Junior making threats. Barbie is surprised, wondering what he did wrong. Just then, Julia arrives at the scene and the fight comes to a halt. The scene shifts, showing some teenagers partying recklessly at a place, including Joy. Joy starts talking to a boy about the situation in the town, but suddenly, she has a seizure and starts talking about the Pink Star, similar to what Nori had said earlier. Meanwhile, Joy's sister Angie is home alone. Suddenly, Junior enters her house kidnaps her, and takes her to his father's secret shelter. There, he reveals that he knows about the dome and discloses that Big Jim is his father. Junior explains that his father had built the shelter to protect the family. Meanwhile, Julia brings Barbie to her house to stay. As Barbie looks around, he sees a photo of her husband and realizes that he is the same man he accidentally killed in the morning. 
On the other side, Linda and the sheriff are keeping a close eye on all the vehicles to prevent accidental collisions with the dome. Suddenly, the sheriff suffers an attack and dies on the spot. The scene shifts back in time to a morning incident, where Barbie had come to meet Julia's husband, who was a doctor in the town. They had a disagreement over some payment, leading to a fight, and accidentally, Barbie shoots and kills him. Aware that he would be punished for the killing, Barbie buries the body in the jungle. Back in the present, Barbie wakes up in the morning and notices that the chain around his neck is missing. He asks Julia about it, and she promises to find it and return it to him. However, Barbie recalls that the chain fell in the cabin where he buried his husband's body. Joy is with her friend Ben, who helped her during a previous night's seizure. Ben inquires about the pink star that Joy mentioned while they were out. But Joy doesn't remember anything about it. Meanwhile, at the radio station, Dodie successfully establishes contact with people outside the dome using a special device. She overhears soldiers talking to each other, but doesn't reveal anything to them. The soldiers are also clueless about the nature of the invisible wall. On the other hand, Big Jim is having breakfast at a restaurant when Linda informs him about the sheriff's death. They immediately go to Lester, the person who buried the dead bodies in the bunker and was a friend of the sheriff. Lester is grief, stricken over the sheriff's death. When Linda is not around, he confides in Big Jim about their involvement in the propane import and how they kept it a secret from the townspeople. With the sheriff gone, their secret is safe. Later that day, Linda goes to the police station and sees Big Jim searching for something in the sheriff's office. He tells her that he's looking for the sheriff's will papers, but in reality, he's searching for papers related to the propane import that could implicate him and Lester. He sends Lester to the sheriff's house, believing that the papers might be there. Meanwhile, Julia rushes to the radio station to meet with Dodie. Julia discovers that people can hear the conversation of soldiers outside the dome through the device. Upon listening, Julia learns that the soldiers are trying to dig the ground and remove the dome, but are unsuccessful. She spreads the news of the dome across the entire town through the radio, causing fear and panic among the people. Meanwhile, Joy and Ben observe scientists working near the border, studying the dome's reaction to water. However, they can't reach any conclusive results. Joy realizes that the dome acts as a trap and tells Ben that ordinary water can pass through it. On the other side, Barbie goes to Julia's husband's doctor's cabin to retrieve her chain. Junior appears and questions Barbie about sleeping with Angie. Barbie thinks Junior might have seen her searching for the chain and decides not to let him go, leading to a heated altercation. Lester reaches the sheriff's house and searches for propane import papers, which he eventually finds and burns. Accidentally, the fire spreads and engulfs the entire house. People try to extinguish the fire, but without a fire truck, it becomes impossible risking the lives of those inside the dome. Barbie takes charge of leading the people and extinguishing the fire. Linda hears Lester's screams from inside the burning house and rescues him. After an hour of struggle, Jim brings a loader, and finally the fire is put out. However, the situation takes a darker turn when Paul, a policeman, becomes frustrated and claims that he'll never escape the dome, leading to an accidental shooting, resulting in the death of another policeman. In the dark, Joy and her friends go for skating when Nuri approaches Joy, needing to charge her phone. Joy takes her home, where Linda brings Paul to jail. Outside the police station, people protest the police system, but Jim calms them down, promising help if needed. However, Paul stages a heart attack, allowing him to escape from the lockup. Junior returns to Angie in the bunker, and Ian decides to share her childhood memories to build a connection with him. Jim discovers Linda in the lockup, instead of Paul, and immediately sets her free. He forms a team, including Barbie, to search for Paul. Meanwhile, Julia becomes suspicious of Junior's actions and follows him to the tunnel. Joy and Nuri have breakfast together, leading to a spark between them. Later, Ben arrives with two girls needing to charge their phone, and Joy reluctantly allows them to use the generator. The search team finds Paul in the jungle, but he injures one of the boys before escaping. Barbie and Jim chase after him. Meanwhile, Junior discovers that the dome has covered the tunnel, and he and Julia have a heartfelt conversation. Back at Joy's house, tensions rise among the people using the generator, but Nuri steps in to handle the situation. The power goes out, and Joy and Nuri share a moment before experiencing strange seizures, talking about a pink star. In the shelter, Junior visits NG, who tends to his wounds and secretly keeps the seizure. Julia and Barbie return home, and Julia begins to suspect Barbie after hearing about Junior's revelation. Friends, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comment box how you've been enjoying the Under the Dome series so far, and if you'd like to see the next.